Hey there sellers, you wanna know the importance of what getting feedback from your showings is of your property? Well, we're gonna dive into it on this episode of Ryan in Real Estate. All right, sellers, you have been showing your home and you maybe haven't gotten feedback, maybe get a little bit. What is the importance of actually getting that feedback? That's what we're gonna dive into. All right, getting feedback on your property is extremely important. If you can actually get that feedback from agents, come on agents, we know we send you those forms, we can give you calls, but sometimes you don't answer them, we need the feedback. But maybe your home has been sitting a little too long in the market and you're clueless, you don't know what to do. Actually getting the feedback, having your agent, whether they're getting it automatically or they're calling each person, which they should be, uh, when they show your property or from an open house, really can give you a litmus test if you've got your property sitting there and you're not getting the offers. And it gives you a litmus test of the perspective of the public of your property. All right, so first off, when another agent walks through your property with prospective buyers, they're doing more than just opening doors and pointing out features here and there. They're observing, they're gauging reactions, and they're observing those raw, unfiltered vibes from potential buyers. So think of them for you as a seller, they're your on-ground detectives, and they're collecting clues that give away the buyer's game. We're trying to figure out what they want, what they need, um, and, and, and watch out for those ring cameras buyers, they're listening. Secondly, the feedback really serves as a good roadmap for you as a seller. It highlights the aspects of the home that really resonated with the potential buyer, and maybe those tiny corners that might have missed the mark. You know, maybe it's, um, you know, maybe it's the sunlit patio that really brought the buyer's eyes up a little bit, or maybe it's the third bedroom that raised a few eyebrows because the paint color was a little off, or maybe it's something you didn't even realize that, that was going to be an eyesore. It's really not just the feedback; it's really helping figure out what it is that the buyers are wanting. I mean, we all love our homes. We're all trying to. We think our homes look great, but not every buyer wants a home the way you want. So when we get that feedback, it allows us to make small tweaks. Maybe, maybe we need to make some major revamps, but with that information, it allows us to pivot and then ensure our next showing hits a little closer to home, no pun intended. So the other important thing is as a seller, you need to embrace, embrace the feedback because that is going to help you understand the perspective of each buyer, and then it's gonna allow you to help inch closer toward your final goal, which is getting that buyer who loves your home and you get the sold sign in your yard. Because that's what we've gotta do. So, agents, please get your feedback. Give your feedback to those homes you're showing. Sellers, if your home is sitting and you're not getting what you want, you need to go get feedback to understand, is it the price, is it the third bedroom that needs painted, what is it? And then figure it out and then pivot and make a plan. As always, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, shoot us a DM, contact us any way you see fit. And if you haven't subscribed and you haven't liked the channel, we'll see you next time on Ryan and Real Estate.